So another insane morning here in the world of crypto. We are absolutely flying once again. And today we are going to be speaking about four altcoins that I think are going to absolutely explode once the BlackRock ETF is approved. And we do have news around these ETFs that we absolutely need to discuss right now. So with that said, if you are new to the channel, I make cryptocurrency videos each and every day. We have been absolutely printing money in this little rally we've been having. So if you do want to stay up to date with the market, smash that like button and hit the subscribe. All I ask in return is that like. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. And if we do check out some of the trades we've been doing here on the channel, the dot trade is up 500% literally printing money. It's absolutely awesome. AVAX, 3,000%. And we also have Doge, which I entered yesterday in my private group at 300% gain. If you want to access my private group, you can do so using the link down there in my description to my Patreon. You can see my trades, my updates, my market analysis, and you can talk to me directly if for some reason you'd want to do that. So we can see the Solana trade here all the way up to 71.9, absolutely massive profit. And here here I opened the Doge long at 0.094. Investors should prepare for long period of volatility as US economy climbs out of its deep hole, says BlackRock. They're expecting a lot of volatility. We also have Fidelity holding meetings with the SEC about the spot Bitcoin fund and submitted a presentation about ETF workflows. So Fidelity, one of the big players in this ETF, having meetings. We also know that BlackRock has been having meetings and all of these guys have been having meetings basically going back and forth with the SEC to get them to tell them what they need to do to get approved. So it is my belief that they are actually going to get approved at some point. So the SEC meets with Greystale and BlackRock again about potential Bitcoin ETFs. So this is super important, right? The fact that they're taking meetings with them very often is a great sign that we're probably going to get some sort of resolution soon. Now, I'll say this again. I've said this a few times. I do believe that because of the move that we've had with Bitcoin, this is going to create a buy the rumor, sell the news event. I don't know how high we'll go when the news is announced, and I don't know how big the pullback will be. But what I would expect is a healthy, a healthy correction for the price of Bitcoin. Once we get the announcement, we'll probably see Bitcoin fly up. And then I would expect a healthy correction. Now, if you're thinking right now is the time is it time now to be buying Bitcoin in this? Listen, you have to decide whether or not you're in this for the long run. Are you here for the next five years or are you here for the next six months? If you're here for the next six months, right now is absolutely the worst time to be buying Bitcoin you could have done in the last six months. But if you're here for the next five years and you want to do something like dollar cost averaging, now could be a perfectly reasonable time to buy. Like we're seeing right now, a very similar thing happened here, a retest of a support that was a very strong resistance in the past and then heading upwards. We saw a very similar thing happen here. Resistance, resistance, and then we broke through, became a support here and headed upwards. So there's a chance here on the hourly, for example, that Bitcoin does head higher. So buying now could be an opportunity. And if you want to trade this upcoming volatility, you can do so with up to 100x leverage over on Margex. They are affiliates here on the channel. So I've got you guys up to $10,000 worth of a deposit bonus. If you use my link in the description and my code that is waiting for you there. The key to Margex is you do not need to KYC. You also do not need to use a VPN to access their exchange. So anyone in the world, can access Margex without having to provide any any personal details whatsoever. Please also do, of course, abide by the laws in your own regions. Those I do not know. And also, if you look here, like I said, if you have a long-term mindset, right? If you're thinking about this long-term, not six months, but five years, maybe even more, you can see the people who bought at the very top of the 2017 bull run are still absolutely laughing right now with a 135% gain. And the key is, if they dollar cost average throughout this bear market, they would have made so much money in this bull market, even if they had have started buying right at the top here. That is the key to long term investing. I've been investing into Bitcoin since back here, dollar cost averaging throughout this time. And I have been buying altcoins in these areas, buying altcoins in these areas, selling altcoins here and a little bit of Bitcoin, and then buying Bitcoin and altcoins in these regions. And now again, I am selling a little bit of altcoins. I'm not selling Bitcoin yet because I believe it can go much higher, but I will be selling it once it breaks, let's 
say around 100k. That's when I'll be taking profits from Bitcoin because I believe that there'll be other opportunities and I do want to literally bank the profits. It's as simple as that. People always ask me, what's my game plan? What's my exit plan for crypto? When the market starts to pump and it gets euphoric, we see Bitcoin above 100K, I will start to be trying to find other opportunities. Maybe it's stocks, maybe it's property, maybe it's gold, maybe it's real estate, but other opportunities outside of the market that's extremely frothy to protect my downside. That's exactly what I did in this last bull market here. I transferred like more than 50% of my portfolio here into property, right? Because this time here, when I was here in this bull run, it was my first one. I didn't sell a penny, not a single penny, and I lost it all in this region, right? The value of it. I didn't sell it, but the value of it. So when it came back, I moved it into hard assets, and that's the key. So again, I don't know when the top is. Just like I didn't know when the top was here, I didn't know when the top was in Solana, for example, that I sold at 180 and it ran to 250. I don't know when the top is, but I will be taking profits as I just explained. With that said, if we do get this BlackRock ETF approved, which I believe is coming, I think that these four altcoins are gonna go wild. First of all, Ethereum, right? I know it's boring, but if Bitcoin starts to rally, I think Ethereum will also rally. As look, if we look at Ethereum on the year, it's up 84%. Nothing to laugh at, that's great. That's great moves, right? But if we do look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is up on the year 157%. It's my belief that Ethereum in percentage gains will be catching up with Bitcoin, if not overtaking it by a landslide, right? So my second largest position in my portfolio is Ethereum because that's what I believe. Now, second of all, we have Avalanche. I believe the crypto gaming sector is gonna be a massive sector that people should be watching. There are lots of games building on Avalanche, a lot of excitement around this. This is the reason why I entered this long, which is now in 3000% gains. But if Bitcoin starts to rally because of the news of the ETF, I think Avalanche will also rally because people will be looking for opportunities. They start at Bitcoin, they then move to Ethereum, and then they then move to other altcoins, Avalanche and the Avalanche ecosystem for gaming. Now, next up, we have Polkadot. Polkadot is something I've been in since uh, the last bull market, but I started to rebuy this again at $4. It seemed a little bit crazy. I think it was around $4 one. It went lower than that. If we look here, yeah, so we, I started buying it around here. It then dipped lower. Everyone thought I was stupid and then it bounced up, right? Now we're at $7.40. Again, I also longed this position because I thought it was going to go up. Now, the reason why I believe that Polkadot will do very well, right now at a $9.3 billion market cap, it is actually market cap wise, it was at 53. So it's around a 5X from where it used to be. So I believe that that is very much achievable from here. But I think that because Polkadot has morphed away from security status. So I think with more regulation coming into this space, we want coins and tokens and projects that are not gonna be scrutinized by the SEC. And I believe this is one of the reasons why Polkadot is outperforming the rest of the market right now. So this is the kind of news that we wanna be looking out for. Finally, XRP. I do believe that XRP has been shown almost no love at all. Up 0.43% on the month, up 77% on the year. And I believe it can do very well considering the legal clarity that we got with this a few months ago, right? When we get a little bit more excitement in this market, I do believe that XRP will fly. I do not believe that XRP is going to $10,000 a coin, but hey, I could be wrong, but I do believe there is some money to be made there. And that is why I hold it in my personal portfolio. With that said, guys, if you want to come over and join me in the private group, the link is down there in the description. And if you do want to trade over on Margex, the link is down there in my description and you can get up to a $10,000 bonus if you use my code, which is also down there. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace from me.